Michelle Smith, and I will be reading a book called Binky, The Cutest Kitten Ever, and it's written by Sophia D. Hoskins. All right, let's get started. Delilah had a tiny kitten. She loved him more than cherry pie. She kissed his furry face and hugged him close to her heart. I'm going to call you Binky. Binky's eyes were big and round like two green marbles. He had long white whiskers, tall pointed ears, and always looked like he was smiling. Binky was the cutest kitten ever. Binky's fur was mostly black and shiny. He had a white beard, white chest, four white boots, and white on the tip of his tail. Can you find the tip of his tail? Good job right here. Delilah always explained, Binky is wearing a tuxedo. Binky loved his Delilah more than taking naps in the sun. He would jump up whenever she came home from school and meet her at the front door. Binky made Delilah happy and Delilah made Binky purr. Can you purr with me? Purr. Good job. I probably didn't do it right, but you probably did it better than me. Binky liked standing on the kitchen counter to share afternoon snacks with Delilah. He liked tuna, cheese, and celery, but mostly he liked when they ate strawberry ice cream. Yummy. Do you like ice cream? I know that I do. Binky would sit on Delilah's school books and watch her pen moving back and forth while she wrote. Sometimes he would chew on the edges of her notebook. One day, Binky ate Delilah's homework. <gasps> he ate her homework. Oh no, look at him, look. <laughs> Binky loved playtime with his Delilah. Fetch was his favorite game. Delilah would crumble a sheet of paper and toss it all the way downstairs. Binky would spring into the air and chase after the ball of paper. In seconds, he would return carrying it in his mouth. Binky would drop the crumble wad by Delilah's feet and look up at her to throw it again. Binky liked this game most of all and would beckon his Delilah to toss the ball of paper for hours. See, look at Binky. You see the ball of paper? In his mouth. He loved that game. Binky would follow his Delilah all over the house. If she closed him out of the room, he would scratch the door and cry. Meow. Say, say it with me. Meow. Good job. Until he was allowed inside. When Delilah would leave the house, Binky would stand in the window and watch her walking until she was out of sight. Binky liked to climb. Sometimes Delilah would catch him swinging from the top of the living room curtains. One day, Grandma Lucy came over to visit. She was talking with Delilah when suddenly Binky jumped and climbed up her dress. Grandma Lucy screamed, Ah! Get this crazy cat! Binky was moving so quickly that he had reached Grandma's neck before Delilah could catch him. Grandma Lucy was traumatized, but Binky had fun. Look at Binky. And look at Grandma. She looks really scared, right? Binky often watched basketball games on television with Delilah's dad. When the players ran around the court, Binky would move his head from left to right and right to left following them with his big green eyes. Binky and Dad also watched baseball and football, but tennis was Binky's favorite. He would get excited and try to catch the little yellow tennis ball with his tiny white paws. Dad thought Binky was hilarious.
Beaky liked relaxing on the patio with Dad. The warm sun and cool breezes made Binky happy. He could sit there all afternoon, sniffing the air for interesting scents and visiting the neighborhood birds. Look at Binky. Binky's favorite toy was a Dilophosaurus dinosaur named Mr. Wellington Rhymes. Mr. Wellington Rhymes was more than twice Binky's size. Binky used to wrestle with Mr. Wellington Rhymes and drag him all around Delilah's bedroom by the tail. Anyone would laugh to see Binky in action. Binky liked to chew drinking straws, but only while they were in tumblers, cups, or glasses. Whenever Delilah would leave her glass unattended without a straw, Binky would put his head inside to get a drink of water. One time, he got stuck. Look at Binky, he is stuck in the glass. Binky liked to do a lot of things. He kept himself busy and his Delilah entertained. At the end of a long day, his favorite place in the world was on her pillow with his arms across her face. Binky would sleep there cuddled up next to his beloved Delilah and dream about sharing a bowl of cold strawberry ice cream. Don't they look comfy? What is your favorite thing to do with your pet? I hope you enjoyed this story about Binky. And I hope it also reminds you of your pet and the good times that you have with your pet. Have a good day.